Greetings from the grave. I'm Zero Voorhees, Killer King of Crystal Lake. And I'm Jamie Myers, the homeboy of Haddonfield. Coming to you live, Psychopath TV. Horror from the grave. Oh yeah, baby. Got yeah. some old for that ass. Here we go. Uh, some news has come up about Halloween 3D. And of course, as soon as something came up, we said we'd let you know. Well, we let you know. Uh, apparently the script is underway. And it's still being planned to be done. It hasn't been permanently postponed. The balls are rolling. Uh, that's pretty much all. Let's put it this way. This is what happened with Halloween 3D. And what's his name again? Which one? The Patrick Lucifer? Armored Salty Balls or whoever's writing the movie or whatever his oh, fucking name is. Oh, uh, Todd Farmer. Todd Far this is what happened with Todd Farmer, y'all. In a nutshell, this is what I think would happen. Nicholas Cage talks, Michael Myers walks. That's what happened on that. Nicholas Cage, Michael Myers. Man, I'll fuck with that guy later. Yeah. He's been around 30 Go years. Go where the gold is. He can wait a little longer. Yeah. Nicholas Cage's movies progressively get worse and worse. You know what? We need some Raising Arizona too. That's what Valley we need. Valley Girl too. Something. Go back. Start again. Because uh, you get yeah. sucking. He's plunging. Ghost Rider 2, actually, is what I heard he was yep. doing. Ghost Rider 2. To follow up the shit-tastic. Ghost Rider 1. The only good thing about Ghost Rider is the same as the only good thing about a lot of movies. Sam Elliott. Yeah. Wade Garrett up in this motherfucker. That's it. That shit. You know what? I'm going to be real. When I saw that movie Mask, you know, with the dude and Cher... Which sometimes you couldn't tell the difference between the two. You had to remember the hair colors. Sam Elliott made that movie tolerable to watch. Yeah, he did. I'm going to say that. I said it. So there it is. Rocky Dennis. That was a horror fucking movie all on its own. Come on, let's be real here. Let's, let's be Eric honest. Stoltz. Yeah, Eric Stoltz is his real name, but Rocky yeah. Dennis. Rocky Dennis. That was a scary motherfucker. They could turn that into a horror film. What the hell the matter with you? Moving on. Over one million demands for paranormal activity. I told you this movie was hot. Over one million demands yeah, for well, this movie to get out there. So, October 16th, everyone's wish is coming true. I will be seeing The Stepfather instead of that movie. I will be seeing that movie instead of The Stepfather. I don't really like movies about shit like that, because every time... You go to see them, they're always a letdown. Like, White Noise was not good. True. White Noise 2 that went straight to a craptacular DVD that I found at Checker one day when I went to get some brake pads. <laughs> I that wasn't good either. heard nothing but terrible things about it. And I was so disappointed with White Noise 1, I was like... <coughs> I ain't fucking watching White Noise Why 2. Why do I need to go to White Noise 2? And then what was that one with the little fucking stupid asshole kid in it? I see dead people, little Oh, bastard. the Sixth Sense. That sucked too. I didn't like it. I figured that one out right away, too. I was like, oh, Bruce Willis is dead. And he's talking to a kid that sees ghosts. And then sure enough, two and a half fucking hours later, it seemed like, there it was. Yep, there it was. But that happens. Zing! That happens. It does. You know, and, you know, being a ghost hunter, though, I want to go see Paranormal Activity. Even though I know it's fake. And I, I'm not it's, bashing It's a wet movie. dream to get hit and thrown across the room by a ghost. Yeah, I, I'm not bashing the movie. I'm just saying, in my personal preference... Right. I will eventually see this movie. But am I going to rush out on the 16th to go see it? No, so I don't want anyone scolding me and talking all their nonsense on here about all my hypocrites. I can't go see Paranormal Activity on the 16th because one, it's my brother's birthday. And two, I have a ghost hunt on October 16th. October's a very busy time for me doing that shit. Everyone yeah. calls us. Like, we have to blow the dust off the phone on October 1st because we course. know it's going to ring. Because then it's going to start fucking off jamming the hook. off the hook. Off the hook. You know what the... The people from Paranormal Activity and people that win the lottery have in common, they all wipe their asses with $100 bills because that movie cost fifty grand to make yep. and they've already made, what'd they say? Well, there's a million requests. And yeah, then a million requests. And if you say, okay, the, the people who did it, say they get a dollar a person. Yeah. Or say they get two dollars. Say they get a percentage of the gross receipts. Of the gross receipts. Now, we know it's with a million people requesting it, Let's say nine fifty to fifteen dollars is your ticket price. 
then you're looking at nine to fifteen million dollars on opening night. But the people who didn't request it and are gonna go too. I mean, this movie looks like it's gonna bang the hell out. Yeah. On October sixteenth, I think it's gonna crush the stepfather. Honestly. Oh, it's gonna crush it. I'm not saying it's gonna compete in any way. Right. No, I know that, but yeah. I'm just saying like oh, yeah, you good. got the stepfather coming out, which is a re-rape, and PG thirteen and totally. Whatever the crap they did to it, yeah. And then you got Paranormal Activity, which is a good ghost story. I think it's rated R for the intense scare that, yeah. that it creates. But was they show in the theaters? People you know, they'll be like, yeah, uh, two for the stepfather, and they're sneaking right up into Paranormal Activity. So any money that stepfather gets, I'm taking thirty percent off for people saying that's what they're gonna go see and, and sneaking, sneaking right into the fucking. Yep. Yeah. It ain't that hard. It is not that hard. You get your ticket ripped. You go to the concession. Dude's not looking. It's a Friday night. Everyone's here for what never and what not. Slip right in. And the movie theaters That's how I did Friday across the, 13th. the United States of America are going to be a fucking madhouse. So I probably won't go see that movie on the 16th either, but I will see it soon. Sunday the 18th? <laughs> maybe. Maybe. Yeah, definitely catch... As a, as a, a, a wreck. Yeah, I'm, the 17th I got to want to go to the tattoo convention. But anyway... 16th, I got the ghost hunt. Craziness. And, uh, you know what? Speaking of ghost hunts, let's go ahead and, you know, I got a couple, two minutes, so I'll just give you the short, short version. I think I saw a motherfucking ghost, y'all, and I ain't even halfway planned. Here's the situation. Let me paint the scene for you, if I can. Do a little painting. We're at the Birdcage Theater, and uh, which is a very notoriously haunted spot in Tombstone. Many people were killed right outside of it. People have died inside of it. There's bullet holes still in the ceiling and all along the stage. And uh, so we're, we're doing our EVP work, which is electronic voice phenomena. Something like a falabala. Anyway, doesn't matter. I'm standing there, and I'm at the end of the craps table, and I almost crapped because of this crap. And craps was in there, and by craps I mean taps. So craps, crap, and crap. And I look at the stage, there's a white backdrop. All the lights around everything. there's a white backdrop. I look back. And this is what I see. Edge of the screen is the curtain. And I'm looking this way. It was like it was seeing what we were doing and it noticed me staring in that direction. Plus I grabbed the sound guy and I was like, do you see what I see? And he was like, holy shit, G. Because it did it four times within the span of about six minutes. Just this little Myers peeking out of the bush thing. If I can paint a picture for you. From the original 78 Halloween. Then I go outside to have a cigarette. And when we're wrapping up. It's like 4.30 in the morning. I walk from the birdcage to the Oriental Saloon. Which is about 100 yards or so like that. I start walking back to the birdcage. I'm hearing boots <coughs> walking behind me. I'm inspecting everything. The water dripping off the building and everything. Inspecting it all. Nothing was there. And there was goddamn footsteps behind me. Say what you want to say. I know what I saw. I know what I heard. And that's Tombstone in a nutshell. It's a badass place. We'll be back with more. Horror from the grave.